As you may know, Steam West has officially started this year. After three difficult tests, the members of this club have done their best to prove that they came here to stay. They are ready for the 2017-2018 school year. Let's come and find out what they have in store. We are here with Mr. Philip, a teacher of the Steam Wasp Club. Okay, how are you today? I'm good, how are you? Okay, as a teacher of Steam Wasp, what are you going to achieve this year? This year, we would like to continue our Steam Wasp teams in competing international robotics competitions, as well as doing on-site school science fairs, and basically just have fun with the Lego robots. Can you tell me uh, what do you think about Steam West? I think it's a good opportunity for our students to expand their knowledge of robots. Thank you for your opinion. You're welcome. Yeah, no really shit. Have a good day. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Tom, as the newest member of Steam West, how do you feel? As the newest member of Steam West, it is very an honor to me to join Steam West. I'm very excited. I wanted to try my best. Yes. What are you going to do in Steam West? As I say, <laughs> I really wanted to join all the competitions as I can, as the best as I could. Do you want to say anything to the audience at home? To all young members and people that wanted to join in the future, just try your best. Be the person that you want to be. And that's it, just easy. Okay, thank you. This is Phuc An, a member of Steam West. Phuc An, can you tell me about your project? Well, we call this system the KAM system, which uh, stands short for um, the Rescue Multi-Terrain Rescuing and Exploration System. What this thing does is it works a, a, as a whole system. There will be a host system, so it can transfer uh, information to one and another, so it would work more efficiently to replace human in rescue missions and uh, exploration miss missions. Uh, let me give you an example. See, if you're stuck on a mountain or a cliff, there will be this drone 
It will be flying around and we will see you and it will record your co coordinates and it will send back to the rescue team. Then the rescue team would go and rescue you. By doing that, it will save, it will save a lot of time and it will be more efficient and things will work out more easier, more, more easily and uh, more simple. And uh, these two robots are their ground robots, we say that. Um, and uh, they will be on the ground and it will be displaying information on its body with an LCD monitor so that people can see the uh, condition of the environment surrounding them so they would have a safer trip. And um, <clears throat> yeah, that's basically it. Let's say it's one really efficient, it's a really efficient system and uh, we hope that it will bring benefits to our future to our future can you please tell me that uh, what have you learned after l researching on this project well um i gotta say it was a rough ride we had to do a lot of researching about exploration and um tourism because mostly we want to put this into the tourist uh, sites so <clears throat> We did a lot of researching and a lot of tests on these, mainly this robot because the sensor it gets broken a lot of times and uh, we have to figure out what sensor to use. It's a way, it's a long way to go. So, but finally we made it. Um, it took us a lot of time to uh, build all these robots but it was really um, creative and um, we learned a lot. All in all, I believe that Steve Wass is going to have a successful year. That's all folks. Uh, I am Lin, and this is me signing out.